of um, first one mixed emotions on the anthems for a start. Um, no, um, I was very happy and proud to be able to, to sing the Flower of Scotland. But um, yeah, it is. It's probably um, a unique experience. Um, it won't, you know, it, it won't happen a lot um, in my career going forward. I know it's it's probably going to be it's going to be the first match in the World Cup that we're going to play against. Um, but no, you know, I'm, I'm fully committed to Scotland and, um, you know, we did everything in our power to, to be the best on the day and um, my allegiance uh, lies with Scotland. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, obviously. But, um, yeah, as you say, you know, when the national anthems come on and everything, it must have been um, quite a, an unusual experience for you. Um, I mean, <clears throat> what, what, if anything, do you think... Um, went wrong again for Scotland against South Africa? Um, or do you think it was just a case, you know, that being a case of being beaten by the um, such a good team? Yeah, look, um, you have to give respect where respect is due. South Africa is a very difficult team to play against, number one. Um, and it's a difficult team to beat. Um, you know, they, they grind out their way of play, their game plan, they impose on you for 80 minutes nonstop. Um, and I think we we did some really good things and we showed what is possible. Um, but the key for us is to be able to do that for, for 80 minutes um, and not have uh, lapses in in concentration. I think that's probably what, what cost us in the end. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. you know, what do you think lessons can be learned from it? And do you think sort of concentration is the, the main thing? Yeah, I think I think um, staying in the moment is, as um, as Stuart Hogg always um talks about to the boys is, is a big thing. Um, and obviously there were, there were key moments in the game there. I, I just think of a couple of kicks that we put in um, where we put South Africa in a lot of pressure, but we couldn't capitalize on that pressure. Um, so, you know, you have to put everything together. Your, your kicking game has to be correct. Your pressure has to be good. Um, and then your set piece attack after that, if you get an opportunity has to function. Um, and I think, again, we, we did a lot of things really well on the day. Um, but just not enough to beat them. Yeah, and for, for the Japan game, um, what your are, are your impressions of Japan? Obviously, this is the first time Scotland have played them since losing the World Cup. Yeah, um, but their, the results of late haven't um, well, they haven't been uh, particularly good. No, yeah. So, what, what, how how do you feel um, going into that game? Is there any particular Scotland will be doing as an attacking force that you'll be instilling? Mm -hmm. Look, it's, a, it's going to be a different threat um, this weekend, but it's a threat nonetheless. Um, it's a very good team. It's a very good coaching team, a very smart coaching team. Um, so we have to expect the unexpected against them. Um, and we definitely must not underestimate them. They're a very strong side. Um, they, they didn't put out their, their full strength side on the weekend, so I wouldn't read too much into that game. Um, and it's going to be a real tough battle. We're going to have to, and the same applies for this game. We're going to have to concentrate for 80 minutes if we want to, if we want to win the game. Thanks, Clyde. Great, thanks very much. <clears throat> hey, I, be, uh, I expect there'll be a few sore bodies after the weekend, but is there anyone who might be struggling for the Japan match? And as a coaching team, were you maybe minded to have a little bit of rotation for this game anyway? Yeah, no, there's, um, injury-wise, there's, there's no real concerns for us. Um, in terms of rotation, as I say, we, we have to expect, uh, um, we have to respect the, the, the Japanese team, and I'm pretty sure that um, we'll try and put the strongest team out that we possibly can. There's, there's some guys who've maybe played three tests in a row. Yeah. Are they, are they you know, uh, will there be some that will be expected to have played in all four of these autumn tests? Look, again, I, I think the the minutes that you play isn't always the, the determining factor. It's the, it's the hits that you take on your body and... Um, also, performance has to has to be taken to, to account. So there's a lot of factors involved. Um, but as I say, we're, we're going to try and put out the the, uh, the the strongest team for the weekend. Yes, and just for yourself, how have you found adapting from club to to to, to national team coaching? Yeah. And, um, what sort of a, a an impact do you hope to be leaving on these players? Um, to answer the first part of your question. Um, I've been really impressed just with everything, um, the whole organization um, from top to bottom. Just everybody's really, uh, really good at what they do. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of detail 
uh, scrupulous detail, which you know no, no stone gets unturned to to try and um, to try and help the team win on the weekend. So so that's awesome, and um, I've learned a lot. I've, I've learned so much already from this coaching group that I'm working with. So um, I'm really uh, I'm really happy to be here, and I'm happy to be a part of this team. And um, you know, it's only been it's only been three weeks now, but I feel like I'm I'm really part of the team already, and that that speaks um, volumes for the for the playing group as well. Um, to answer the second part of your question, which uh, you can just reiterate for me. Yeah, it was just asking you know what do you hope to, to leave as an impact on these players over your, the, the time that you work with them. Yeah, look, I, I think um, you, you can't have a massive effect um, in a short period of time. Um, but a big reason for me moving over to Scotland is to spend time with players out of camp as well. Um, you, you know, to to upskill players um, to reach their full potential is is what I want to achieve. So um, if someone's struggling with a specific skill, that's something we need to address. It's something we need to pinpoint. Um, and we need to align that with the way we want to play and the, and the way we want to um, go into the World Cup so that we are putting ourselves in the best position to, to get into those playoffs. Cheers. Thank you. Can I, can I ask as well, what, what have you, what's your impressions of the players? Is, is there something about them that maybe stands out, uh, the kind of character they've got, the, the, the atmosphere that they've, they've got as well, that, that your kind of first impressions that, that can give yeah. encouragement coming forward? Um, I think for, from the playing group, it's, um, it's a very confident group. Um, they're very confident in the way they carry themselves and the way they train. Um, there's a real belief. Uh, it's from players and management. There's a belief that that we can we can beat any team, and I truly believe we can beat any team. Um, and that's why we were disappointed after the South African match because we we knew that we we were in a position to beat them, um, but we couldn't finish the game off. Um, so that confidence is is massive, and it's something that. Um, that this group will definitely definitely keep with them, and they'll they'll build on that um, towards the World Cup. And, and that confidence probably was you could probably see that in the, the two tries that the, the team scored on, on Saturday as well. Is that yeah. it give you confidence in the, the way you move the ball? You really move South Africa about. If you can do that to South Africa, then you know that you can do that to them. They really is that yeah. key going forward for you as an attack coach. Yeah, exactly. Look. We, you won't move the ball around every time. It depends on who you play and, and what type of game plan you're going going in with. But um, the players definitely have the skill set to change it up. They can play fast if they need to. They can slow down if they need to. Um, this forward pack that we have is immense. I mean, um, we saw on the weekend how how we stopped the, the the mall threat from South Africa. So if we can stop that, you know, we're we're a force to be reckoned with. And I I really believe this. This team has got um, got so much more in them, so um, just a, hopefully a lot of a lot more tries and a lot more good things to come. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Gary. We'll move on to ten pm embargo. Thanks.